Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Craft Galley channel. We are going to have some elegant fun today with the Prima Marketing um, stamp set here. And this design is Christine Adolph. And I have to say, these stamps are just wonderful. So I'm starting off with some colored, sorry, watercolor cardstock. And I have heat embossed my image with some clear embossing powder. Pulling out my ink tense pencils here. I'm showing you my little swatch that I did so I can see the true color. And I'm only going to use a handful of these pencils. So these are watercolor pencils. They're awesome. I love them. And I use a water brush with them. Talk about getting a really true watercolor look just with zero talent. <laughs> I don't say zero talent. That's a little rough on myself. But zero um, expertise, I suppose. I'm not, a, actually, if you've ever seen any of my videos, watercoloring is kind of like the place I fear the most. And with these pencils and just this technique, it's really fearless. It's fearless, I tell you. Okay, so what I'm doing here is the first thing you want to do is you lay down your color with the pencil. And then you're just going to add some water and fill it in. Now, the reason I did some heat embossing with my images was so that I can have sort of like a pool, kind of like an area. What's it called? A reservoir? What's that called? Where you have like barriers. You guys know what I'm talking about. But so that the water will kind of stay within that area. And I won't have to worry too much of it going into the next flower or whatever the image is. Now I have to tell you as I'm doing this, of course this is sped up immensely, but I also have the image of my flower from the stamp set pocket up in front of me so I can look at it. Because when you're dealing with no line quote watercolor, uh, you have a hard time, like I can't see where the images are. So I had to look up and kind of see where they were. But I wanted to do the clear embossing because I wanted this to just be a very soft look. Now, if you use the uh, a black ink for this image, wowzers, I'm definitely going to do that next uh, because it's just so beautiful. And um, you're going to be able to see a lot, obviously, a lot easier what you're doing. So that's a little trick I have. Now, the colors I'm using for this card are, um, let's see, the field green and felt green are for my leaves. And then I'm using violet for kind of like the lilacs dark purple and fuchsia. And that's it. I just used those colors. And what I did was on the big flowers, I actually mixed the dark purple and the fuchsia. And that kind of gave me that color. So that's another way to get more use out of um, whatever medium you're using. Try to mix up some colors. So I'm going through and I'm adding my water. And um, you want to try to pull out from where you want the shading and then pull that out into kind of a more um, faded out look. And that's going to help add a little bit of that dimension. You can see, for example, on the biggest flower, you can see how it's darker right around the center of the flower. And that's because I use that technique. Okay, so I'm going to actually outline this with a blue. So I am pulling out a blue. I believe this is iris blue. And um, I don't know if you saw the way I was holding the pencil, but I was holding it sort of flat to get a very soft. If you use harsh lines with these pencils, it's harder to blend them out. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going around and I'm just going to add some blue. After that, I'm going to take my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and I'm going to add some sparkle to all of my images. I think this really adds something special to it. But that wasn't enough for me. <laughs> Um, after I looked at this panel, I said, oh, what do I want to do with this panel? And so I decided, as crazy as it was, that um, I was actually going to cut it out. And so I did. I just cut it out around the image, and this really makes this image pop out. I love that. I am going to take to some Bristol Smooth cardstock with some regular Distress inks, and I'm using Twisted Citron here. Now I'm going to make it heavy on the bottom and then I'm going to fade it out up into sort of a white, um, even though it has a little bit of Twisted Citron on the top, it's sort of going to be like a white um, fade. Okay, so I'm going to keep going back and forth and doing that in Bristol Smooth with any distress is amazing. So then I decide again, um, another 
Oh, I'm going to add some water droplets here just for some effect. Didn't work as well on the Bristol Smooth as I had hoped. I don't know if any of you have that issue too, but... All right, then I decided to use an egregious amount of Fun Foam, and um, I spared you all that craziness. And I'm going to add that so that it pops up. All right, so I get that down, and then I have this Thanks die already cut out in my stash from some cork paper, and I thought that matched the... Uh, um, the kind of look of the card instead of doing a black sentiment. Uh, so I am going to use some fun foam on only half of that because as you can see this is going to actually fall off of the image. So half of it's going to be on the card, half on the image. And that's where I didn't want to obviously put the fun foam all over it. I'm going to show you here I used some stickles and I put that right in the center of the flowers. This gave it nice, some nice sparkle and shine. And um, that was just a little accent there that I did for the stickles. Okay, a couple more final touches and then we're done. So this one I'm going to use um, a white gel pen and I'm just going to put some dots all over the bottom of that. And then I'm going to take some, um, which is similar to glossy accents, some lacquer here and I'm just going to cover up my thanks. And that's going to make it almost look like an epoxy uh, embellishment. Okay, so for the giveaway, Today, we're going to give away a $10 gift card to the store. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and comment below about what products you're most excited about adding to your stash this spring. This card has inspired spring, so we're excited about it. Uh, the link to Craft Galley Shop is below, and we will pick a winner next Saturday, 17 March. Super easy, fun challenge. All right, again, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.